Hello and welcome. This is Shireen Qureshi and you're watching It's Tomorrow News. Austria hit heavy snow, flooding and mudslides. Hail heavy showers reported as thunderstorms move over Ohio. Parts of Austria have been dealing with masses of snow, the threat of avalanches and flooding by swelling rivers and lakes. Firefighters rescued two women buried after a mudslide in Bad Gastein, south of Salzburg, destroyed two homes overnight on Sunday, according to Austria Press Agentur news agency. The women were taken to hospital for their injuries. In southern Austria, a mudslide killed an 80-year-old man when it hit his home on Monday in Bad Kerkheim. To the east in Gagtal, in the Carinthia region, the Gurk River rose quickly and threatened residents in 15 buildings close by, leading to a mass evacuation led by local firefighters. Meanwhile, several train lines were interrupted and about 3,300 houses were without power on Monday in East Tyrol and Carinthia. Schools were also closed on Monday in East Tyrol because of the threat of avalanches. More than 30 people were evacuated from their homes in the eastern state of Syria because of the threat of mudslides, according to German news agency Duschwelle. The widespread heavy snow cut off dozens of villages across southern Austria with helicopters scouting the nearby mountains for possible avalanches. Throughout Tuesday and Wednesday, the next weather system will bring another blast of winter across the mountains with more rain at lower elevations. The risk of flooding and avalanches in the mountains remains high. Schools were closed on Monday in East Tyrol because of the threat of avalanches. This weather system that brought historic flooding to Venice is also causing snowstorms, flooding and mudslides across Austria. A total of 24 people have died from weather-related incidents across Europe over the past week. Avalanches will remain a major concern as additional bouts of snow further bury the Alps into the night. There can be a general 30 to 90 cm of additional snow during this time across the Alps with amounts topping a meter in localized areas. Meanwhile, on Tuesday afternoon, thunder showers that moved over Oahu in Hawaii dumped hail in several neighborhoods, including Waikele, while heavy rains triggered flooding concerns. National Weather Service forecasters also warned of frequent cloud to ground lightning with the storm, a rare sight in the islands. The hail that pelted Oahu communities fell between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. There were no immediate reports of damage, but the site left lots of people astonished. The severe weather triggered at least two flight delays. Hawaiian Airlines said that a flight from Boston to Honolulu and a flight from Kahului to Honolulu were both diverted to Kahului until the weather cleared. Hawaiian Electric is also responding to a power outage in Wahiawa that was affecting about 950 customers, though the cause wasn't immediately clear. A flood advisory for Oahu has been cancelled as the rain has abated, but much of the Big Island remains under a flood advisory. Kauai saw heavy rains Tuesday afternoon, but a flood advisory for the island has been cancelled. The heavy rains prompted Hanalai School on Kauai to send students home at 11.30 a.m. Officials said that the unpredictable water levels means there is a chance that the area could be cut off by floodwaters. The severe weather follows a powerful storm overnight that pummeled parts of the state, uprooting trees, flooding roads and triggering power outrages. In Eva Beach, heavy rain and powerful winds knocked over several large trees in West Block Fairways late Monday. Luckily, there were no immediate reports of damage to homes. Crews also responded to clear several downed trees in YPO. The National Weather Service said based on the damage, wind speeds likely reached 40 to 50 miles per hour there. In West Oahu, a downed pole caused a power outrage affecting roughly 670 customers in West Oahu, the Hawaiian Electric Company said. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's Tomorrow News. Shirin Qureshi. For more weather updates like these, please subscribe our channel.